Hi. My name is Laura. I hope you are doing great. I'm in my office, and I'm searching online about number 10. Because I'm creating a marketing campaign about a company that is celebrating their first 10th anniversary. Did you know that there are multiple operations where number 10 is involved? To understand more I will need to call my old professor, Mr. Ivanov. Hi Professor Ivanov. I'm calling you because I'm working on a presentation about the number 10 and operations with 10. And who will know more about that than you? Hi Laura, how are you? Of course. I can help you with that. Well, I may start with place value. As you move to the left in this place value chart, the value of each place is 10 times the value of the place before it. So, in the number 55,000 the digit in the 10,000s place is 10 times the value of the digit in the 1,000s place, because you have moved one place to the left. You could also say that the digit in the 1,000s place is one-tenth the value of the digit in the 10,000s place, because you have moved one place to the right. If you're given two numbers, you can compare the values of their digits. 58,279 and 92,367. The value of the 7 in the first number, is 10 times the value of the 7 in the second number. The value of the 2 in the first number is 1 tenth, the value of the 2 in the second number. Now let's talk about powers of 10. If we multiply by a power of 10, we just need to move the decimal to the right, the same number of times as the number of zeros in the power of 10. For example, 54.2 times 100, equals 5420, or 5420.0, the decimal moved two spaces to the right. And, if we want to divide by a power of 10, we just need to move the decimal to the left, the same number of times as the number of zeros in the power of 10. A good example could be, 5420.0 divided by 100, this is equals 54.2, the decimal moved two spaces to the left. Easy right? Now, comparing decimals can be tricky, because often we look at 0.58 and 0.508, and say that 0.508 must be bigger because there are more digits, but doing this is not correct. So, in order to see which decimals are bigger, we can do the following. First, set up a table with a decimal point in the same place for each number. Then, put in each number. Fill in the empty squares with zeros. Compare using the first column on the left. And, if the digits are equal, move to the next column to the right, until one number wins. For example, we want to order these decimals from highest to lowest. 0 0.508, 0 0.58, 0 0.375, 1.3, and 0 0.85. If we follow these steps, we will end up having them organized like this. So, we could say, that 0 0.508 is less than 0 0.58. And, 0 0.85 is greater than 0 0.375. Easy right? Also, we should talk about rounding decimals. Rounding numbers is an estimation of an exact given value. This will give us different levels of precision. That means, an easier process when calculating a result. Now if we want to round decimals. Decide which is the last digit to keep. Leave it the same, if the next digit is less than 5, this is called rounding down. And increase it by 1, if the next digit is 5 or more, this is called rounding up. Rounding to tenths means, to leave one number after the decimal point. Rounding to hundredths means, to leave two numbers after the decimal point. For example, if we want to round, 4.1516, to the nearest hundredth. Well, the answer will be, 4.15. As the next digit, 1, is less than 5. And if we want to round, 3.1736, to the nearest tenth? The answer is, 3.2. As the next digit, 7, is 5 or more. Well, I hope this was helpful Laura. Yes, Professor Ivanov, thank you so much. Bye. Well, thanks to Mr. Ivanov, we know everything about the number 10 now. So, can you continue using the number 10 in real-world situations? Just remember, today you learned how to use place value 10 times and 1 tenth a number. How to multiply and divide powers of 10. How to compare decimals to thousands. 
and how to round decimals. Just practice a lot. Well, thank you so much. And see you next time. Bye.